Hello, and I am so excited to show you the Quad Function Generator 281T. This is the tip-top audio version of Bukla. Um, I love all things Bukla, so this is going to be a lot of fun for me, personally. <laughs> um, uh, let's talk about this. This is a, um, it's kind of like, if you think about it, it's four channels in one device that can do a lot of things for you. Um, so I will maybe end up having two of these in my rack just because of the amount of stuff that it does. Um, it is an envelope. So we can trigger attack and decay. And you can see there, uh, we can put a trigger in here. We have a sustain mode, a transient mode. Um, these work like the music easel version. Uh, so we'll talk more about that later. We have a cycle mode, which can be an LFO. Let me see if I can get it to make a sound for you. If we give it a hard attack. There we go. This can go into audio rate. And you'll hear it can do kind of square waves, sine waves, sawtooths. Kind of depending on how you've set up your attack and decay, it affects the wave shape. You can plug all of these together, uh, so one can influence the other. Um, in that way, this can become a complex clock source, which we will talk about. Let's see if I can get that going. Just a little bit. There we go. So we can use that to ping filters or move clocks forward, whatever you can imagine. Uh, and that's sort of the beauty of this device is like kind of it's so open ended, it can be whatever you imagine. Um, I've been experimenting with trying to do like maths drums with this. Um, and you can't exactly do that, but you can do some really amazing polyphonic stuff with it um, because these. This is like four oscillators when they're all in cycle mode. Um, and we also have quadrature mode to explore. Uh, so I'm going to break these up into like, you know, as an envelope, as an LFO, as an oscillator, and then weird stuff. Um, so I hope you enjoy.